nearly a quarter century after John Grisham's 1989 debut with A Time to Kill, he's bringing his readers back to Mississippi in a new courtroom drama. It's called Sycamore Row. It's the latest pick for CBS This Morning. And guess what? Mr. Mann is at the table, John Grisham. Good morning. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Always fun to be here. Um, we, we, listen, I was very excited you were coming because finally the sequel to this and your lovely wife Renee was not so convinced you should do it because she didn't think you could find the authentic authenticity right. that you had back then. Right. We talked about it uh, a couple of years ago. I started thinking about it, the idea of a sequel because it's been uh, talked about for 20 years. Yeah, uh, most people over the years, if they get close enough to offer an opinion, they'll say, you know, nice things, enjoy your books, whatever, but the first one was our, my favorite or it <laughs> yes. was really special. When are you going to do it again? Yeah. Well, how about another story from Ford County, from Clanton with Jake and all these wonderful characters that that you meet in a time to kill. And I said, yeah, I'll do it one day, but I gotta have a story first. But you had a story. This is the thing about you. Race is such a rich territory, and so many people are afraid, and you just dive right in. Let, let's set up the premise. Businessman commits suicide from the very beginning. Yeah. Clearly, he's wealthy. People don't know how wealthy he is. Two kids who he's estranged from, and he leaves all of 90% of his money to his black maid. Yeah! That just starts a whole big steamroll of events on yeah, both a, sides. It was a handwritten will. He, he, he prepared the day before he killed himself. He, he was dying of lung cancer. Yes. He was in great pain. And he decided to end it all. And right before he killed himself, he, he redid his will. He had a big, thick will done yeah. by his lawyers. He shoved that aside, rejected that, and hand wrote a will, which you can still do in almost every state. If you write all of it and sign it yourself, left everything to his uh, black housekeeper. Yeah. And uh, that's the first chapter. Why <laughs> so, did he yeah. do that? I'm not going to tell you, Charlie. Yeah. You've got to read the we, book. You've got to buy the book and read the book, We find out, Charlie, at the last page. <laughs> yeah. That's what you did. Yeah. <laughs> 500 page. pages later, you finally find out what happened. Why but it's a, it? it's a wonderful... It turns into a huge will contest. That's the, that's the, the story. And Jake is in the middle of it, our hero, right. and mm -hmm. in Clanton. Same courtroom as A Time to Kill and yeah. all that. You know, there were, as you mentioned, there were doubts about whether you could do the second book, and now people are saying it's maybe your best book. I want to read you what uh, the Washington Post review said. If William Faulkner were still down in Oxford and had a chance to read Sycamore Row, he would raise a glass of good bourbon and toast the younger writer for a job well done. That's pretty nice. I'm sure he would drink the bourbon. I'm not sure he would say nice things about me. But <laughs> Do you think it is? Do you think it's your best book? I don't know. I, I, I can't judge these things. Yes, you I, can, John. Well, I'll tell, you know this book is good. I, I'll tell, I'll tell you what, what, how, what I can tell you. I didn't want to finish the book. Uh, yeah. Normally, when I start a book, I've got about six months. I've got it all planned. I, and as I get closer to the deadline, you know, I, I can't wait to get finished because yeah. I'm, I'm really tired of the characters. I know, I know the plot. And all that. This book, I, I could have written a thousand pages. Yeah. And there's so many and, wonderful. Mm -hmm. Uh, anecdotes and stories to tell from Ford County. This is when his editor says, so give us version three. <laughs> yeah, <that's right. laughs> already Keep said going. that. Yeah, I've already yes. heard that, by the way, from, uh, Keep from, going. from the editor. Yeah. How we're, nice we're, is it that the book's coming out at the same time the play is opening on Broadway? Was it, was that all, it was all carefully planned yeah. by me. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. Purely, you couldn't have planned this in a thousand years. The fact that it opened in Washington a month, a year ago. <laughs> well, they were going to open the play last uh, year on Broadway. Things right. didn't work out. And about a year ago is when I got serious about the story, when the story all came together and it just worked out. We weren't sure that the play was going to open till back in the springtime, and I was already, you know, halfway through the book, and so the play opened Sunday night here, and we saw it, and the book, we, you know, I look like a genius now. <laughs> so, but perfect Jake, timing. Jake and, and on theater in the theater, and Jake in Sycamore is you. Well, Jake was started off 30 years ago as as a very autobiographical character story because I was living that life, and I was a lawyer in a small town in Mississippi and really struggling and dreaming of the big case, the big mm -hmm. trial. And there's a lot of autobiography in it. And that was why Renee was afraid that you may not be able to capture that voice 30 years later. And I said, let me write a few chapters and you read them. Did She's, she like it? Well, yeah. If she, if she doesn't go. like it, it doesn't go any, <laughs> that's the end of it. And you've turned, you're, you've turned the corner on e-books. You're a fan or in favor? That I have a Kindle. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm not that. sure. I, I'm not sure. I'm reading more, but I'm certainly ordering more right. uh, magazines and books and everything. So yeah, we, we have to thank, thank you, John Grisham. Thank you. We thank you. Sycamore Row goes on fun. sale today.